Hello class, good evening. Hello, hello, can you guys listen to me? Hello. Hey, how are you? Marlene, Harrison, Narciso. How's everything? How's everything? Good evening, good evening. Oh, okay, so you ready for today's session? I'm ready, I'm ready, teacher. Nice, nice to hear that. Harrison, are you at work? Hi, teacher. Hello, again at work. Yeah, again at work, okay. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So how was your day, guys? How was it? What did you guys uh, do? Busy, relaxing, day off, a lot of things to do. What's your case? Christina, how was your day? Hello, teacher. I am good. It's relaxing. Nice. So relaxing. Okay. It's great. It's great to hear that. Okay. So um, let's start. This is uh, what class number I think is 13, right? So it's, it's uh, Wednesday. So let me start checking the attendance. Okay. So I really hope you had a great day. As um, Christina just mentioned, she had a relaxing day and I really hope everybody, you know, uh, did the same, okay? So let me start checking the attendance. The first one on the list is um, Anna Elizabeth. I think Anna is not as yet connected, Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia, Christina. Present. Thank you so much, Daniel. No, not yet. Okay, David. I think he never made it. Eric, Arnold. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Eric. Gabriela. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Gabby. Uh, Harrison. Present. Thank you, Jesus. No. Okay. Ruben. Okay, JC. Hello, JC. Present teacher. Okay, Present teacher. he is there. Good, good. All right. So next one, Linda. Linda. Present teacher. Present. Thank, thank you so much, Linda. Maria Julia. Present. All right. Thank you. And then we have the next one. Here is Marlene. Present. Thank you so much. Marvin. Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. How are you, Norma? I'm fine, teacher. Better? Comiendo, comiendo some popos. <laughs> <laughs> Eso se llama... <laughs> mm -hmm. Sí, sí, sí. Es la etapa, ¿verdad? <laughs> la etapa <laughs> entre la adultez y la... <laughs> growing up okay good uh, so i'm glad to hear you're feeling better i I can hear you better than yesterday yes better nice and rafa and it's corner always <laughs> i'm here i'm here <laughs> nice uh, ray how are you ray uh, is here teacher Nice. Okay. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Xiomara. I think Xiomara is not connected. Adrian, Georgina, Jairo. And we have Jose. Okay. See? Well, guys, thank you so much for connecting on time. Yesterday, we studied a very important topic, which is used to give suggestions and recommendations, right? So I would like to know what you guys remember about it, okay? And I think there was an activity that we didn't finish. So I know Andre was not here, but I know all of you guys, you know, were here. The majority was here. And then we were talking about how to use a specific structure, which is to give, right, suggestions. And um, so 
This is what we're gonna do now. I want you to, let's work individually first in your handouts and your notebooks. I want you to write three examples of good behavior. Let's see, let's try to recap or let's try to recall yesterday's class. What did we say a behavior is? Let's see, what do you remember? What is a behavior? What's this word? Or any example that you can think of, of behaviors? What do you remember from yesterday? Behaviors, good or bad behaviors. If I don't say uh, good morning to my coworkers, to my uh, peers or, or colleagues, is that a good or bad behavior if I don't do it? Bad. bad, right? It is bad. You and what about if I smoke in areas where it is not permitted? Is it good or bad behavior? Running late or getting late at work? Good or bad behavior? So I want you to please write three examples about this good behaviors and uh, bad behaviors in business meetings, okay? Let's try to focus on business meetings, okay? So write three good and three bad behaviors. Think about or picture one meeting, a business meeting, and think of, uh, and think of uh, these behaviors that can take place in these situations and write them down, okay? I'm gonna give you, let's see, maybe three or four minutes and start writing your examples. Don't share them on the chat. Just keep them, please, in your notebook. Do you have questions? Tienen preguntas? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Clear? Confusing? And use should and shouldn't, please, to specify this. We have it writing three. Yes, behind, right. Behind, behind you. Right, right, three behaviors. Three, be, three okay. behaviors, yeah. Yes. Rafa? Good or bad? Right. Start writing. Start writing. Okay, three and three. Three good and okay. three bad. Three bad, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it.
If you have the three ones, let me know. Only say on the chat, yes, or I finished, so I know you finished, okay? Because we are going to use these behaviors in short conversations. That's basically the point of this. Okay, let's take one more minute. Okay, when you finish guys, this is what we're gonna do now. So when you have the three behaviors, good or, good or bad behaviors, we are going to go back a little bit Okay, as you can see on the screen, we have this short conversation on the screen, right? You remember we practiced this yesterday between Claudia and Raul, right? So this is what we did yesterday. And today we are going to make short conversations, but we're not going to focus on these um, behaviors. For example, chatting in a meeting or, uh, answering messages or stuff like this. So we're going to use your behaviors, the ones you just wrote down, okay? And we are going to include them here. So the purpose is that you guys practice using your behaviors into a similar, not exactly like this, but into a very similar conversation, okay? So you practice with a partner, decide which ones you want to incorporate, which ones you want to use in the conversation and then start talking, okay? So you can of course use some of the ideas from this conversation, but I do want you to change your behaviors, not the same that we have in here, okay? So um, stop writing. Maybe you have already written some and we are going to use them, okay? We're going to make pairs and start talking, improvising and start making up conversations using that behaviors, okay? I don't know if that makes sense or if it is clear about what we're going to do or do you have questions before I, you know, send you guys to practice in pairs? Do you have questions? No, is it clear? Are you sure? Marlene is like nodding, like saying yes, okay. And the rest? It's clear. Clear, nice to hear that. Narciso, clear, Norma, clear. JC, Cristina, do you have questions? Estamos bien, clear? Repeat, please. Okay. okay, right, okay. We have already three behaviors. We have three good and three bad, right? And we are going to work in pairs, okay? To create similar conversations like this one on the screen, okay? It's not going to be Claudia, it's not going to be Raul, it's going to be JC, it's going to be Christina, it's going to be Norma, so that's what, so you have to role play, okay? Talk to your partner. Maybe you want to decide, okay, let's use this behavior, let's use this one. So the first step is you have to tell, okay, hey, what, what are the behaviors you have, okay? So you start listing and, and comparing, okay? Let's use this one, okay? In the, in the conversation and so on, okay? So basically you might not be able to use all the behaviors because it's not gonna be possible, but try to use as many as you can, okay? Try to use as many as you can. Trate de usar lo más que pueda, okay? In sus, in sus conversation. Practice in pair. And I don't know if that's clear or more confusing. Confusing, yeah. clear. Okay, we have 12 participants. Okay, I think it's, oh, it's, it's cool. We, we can have some 
maybe six pair. Here we go. Practice as much as you can. Solita la dejaron, ¿verdad? Por algo ese. Por algo, ya ve. <risa> ¿Por qué? <risa> no sé. Pero porque yo dije que estaba claro todo. Ya ve, ¿verdad? ¿con quién quiere trabajar? Para que la asignemos ahí. Elija a alguien. Norma. Ok, 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 me parece. Buena elección. Okay. Um, ahí está Narciso, pero bueno, eh, trate de incorporarse con ellos. Ok. Norma y Narciso. Ok, here we go. Hello, Xiomara. Hello, Xiomara. How are you? Xiomara? How are you, Xiomara? How are you? Why are you so serious? Xiomara, can you listen to me? Me escucha? Hello, Chimara. Hello. Chimara. Hello, Xiomara. Hello. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Xiomara. How are you? Hey, take care. How are you? Good. I'm doing Thank good. You. I'm doing really good. I'm do so listen, um, were you practicing with someone? Were you practicing with, uh, with uh, your partners or did you just arrive? Did you just arrive? 
you just joined or were you practicing with somebody? Mm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm joined, joined. Okay, you just Wait. joined. Okay, good. <laughs> um, your partners are working on short conversations, okay? So I'm going to send okay. you to observe, to listen to your partners only, okay? And if you can participate, do it, okay? I'm going to give them like maybe two or three more minutes. So I'm going to okay. assign you. And then just listen to what they're saying. If you can participate, it'll, it'll be great. I want to send you with Anna Elizabeth and Harrison. Here we go. Uh -huh. That's correct, uh, it. It's correct. He should not interrupt the meeting. No, uh, the, 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 that, that is that is not light. Okay, I can believe it. Her mother, her mother is drunk. Mm. Are you ready? Bye. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> okay. Hey, I I am drinking my beer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and empty. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, entonces así estamos, ¿va? solo esperamos Sioma y con Toti.
Okay, did you finish? Yes. Ready? Ready to share? We are going to start with JC's team, okay? JC, are you ready? I heard you were ready. A little bit <laughs> told me you were ready. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay. Not ready, but demo. <laughs> demo. Let's, let's give it. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Three words, um, Rafa. Use uniform correct. You should uniform correct. You say always true. La verdad, así, así, verdad, teacher. Okay. And we honestly always. We should honesty always. And the bad no we shouldn't smoke in your workplace. And you shouldn't eat um medicine. Ahí teníamos como Bueno, tengo un interrogante. ¿Es sobre, on, está bien, about, o cómo lo podríamos decir allí? So, what do you want to say? No, no deberías comer sobre medicina, me decía él. Comer sobre medicina. Medicina. Uh -huh. Comer sobre medicina. I don't understand it. Sorry. Comer. ¿A qué se refiere? No, debe, no, no debería comer. Yo me imagino que eh, ha de tener ahí, no sé, cajas o algo. Ah. De repente. En el área de trabajo. Ah. En el área que trabaja en el laboratorio suizo. Encima de él. No comer encima. Entonces, la preposición. Ajá. Vaya, digamos, over. Entonces, over. Over, over. Puede ser over. over o puede ser on. Una de las dos. Ajá, on medicine. Over, over. Pero no. diga over medicine packages or boxes para que se entienda. Mm -hmm. en, en las cajitas o los. O los... <laughs> okay, teacher. And you shouldn't drink beer in your workplace. That, that, that must be you should. You should. You should. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should. <laughs> so you are like more energetic, you know? Always, always. Always, okay. Y ahorita, y, y ahorita, y solo veíamos que Rafa levantaba la mano y tiene una mano. Okay, <laughs> what else? Nice. What else? The Sioma solo nos dijo una you shouldn't smoke in your workplace you shouldn't smoke okay mm -hmm. in your workplace good only that okay todos hacen lo mismo no okay. rafa tiene y no hicieron una conversation ahí so antes de que comparta rafa quiero mandar una que tomé aquí voy a enviarlos you should wear your uniform correctly eso sí que you should wear your uniform correctly, así. Y la otra que vamos a corregirla porque dice we should honesty always. Ahí vamos a ponerle we should be honest. You should be honest always. You should, pero si you should be, be you should, uh -huh, you should be, be honesty, honest, 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 solo, honest, solo, honest, honest, honest always. Pero fíjense que always um, va justamente después del de la, del 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 moral ver entonces sería you should you should always be honest así así sería lo correcto you should Did always you, be all, always honest ahí lo mandé But always no lo dejamos al final es bien raro la verdad no suena pues digámoslo siempre después del modal y el verbo principal you should always be honest you should always be nice you should always be on time you should always be friendly always be, be, be ahí que va el always, ok, hoy sí escuchamos a los demás
Listen, uh, Rafa y creo que Sioma. Hello. ¿Cómo es Sioma? Go, Sioma. Go, go, go. It's your turn. Su turno. Ah, ok, ok. Eh... <laughs> Como yo me incorporé de último, solo escribí ahorita dos. I don't know how to smoking um, to, during working hours. Um, should should, um, should What do you say, seguridad? Security. Um, yeah, to security. Zapatos de seguridad. Industrial. Industrial shoes. Ah, uh, okay. Shoe. Shoe. Yes. Industrial shoe. Shoes. Y aunque podemos agregar la palabra safe. Safe. Safe shoes. Safety. Safety. Uh, safety. Uh -huh. safety. Safety shoes. Ajá, safety industrial shoes. ¿Podría ser o solo safety industrial shoes como más completo o solo safety shoes que son de, 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 de seguridad industrial? Shoe wear max, mask. Shoe wear mask. Eh, solo esas escribí. Ok. Es. You should wear, wear. Wear mask. Wear, wear mask. La primera, Sioma dijo, I don't know how to smoking during working hours. Así la, así la entendí, la acabo de mandar ahí, pero no entendí bien ese. I don't know. Pero así la dijo o yo la entendí mal. Así know. la dije. Así ah, es, no, yo no sé cómo fumar. Así. No, no, no. Te pone... ah, <risa> no te debes fumar. Ah, mire, mire, you have to. Le voy a dar una ah, demostración. Okay. Ah, mentira, está no, mal, no. está mal. Uh -huh. te, no se debe fumar en horas de trabajo. Ah, uh, how do you say that? How do you say that, Sima? Um, so, so, no, how to smoke. During working hours. Okay. Sería you should, you shouldn't, or you should not smoke. Uh -huh. You should, should not smoke, you should not smoke during working hours. Uh -huh. During. Ah, okay. Or during, during working hours. Ahí lo voy a mandar. During, let me see, during working hours. Okay. Sorry. Good. You should not smoke during you working should, hours. No. Ah, okay. Okay, good. Uh, let's Thank continue. You. Let's continue. Let's continue. I want to listen to you, please. Rafa, is it your turn? No? Okay. Only behavior, but you choose not a right letter at the work. Two. You should not Two. offend the burners. Two. You should not use yoker. No, no. Only that. You should not, you should not, you can say, you should not joke around. Joke around. Mm -hmm. You should not, as I said, you should not uh, joke around. Joke around, es como no tiene que ser bromas. Joke around. Joke around. Joke around. Uh -huh. Esa es una, una, joke around. Joke around. You should not joke around. Okay. Nice. All right. ¿Y las usaron en una conversación o no las usaron? En conversation. No. 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 Ok, ok. That was the missing part. Ok. Ana Elizabeth, you're next. No, mentira. Vi que se levantó. Ok, so who's, who's next? Who's next? ¿Quién quiere compartir? Who wants to share? Veamos, alguien que tenga sueño para que se le vaya el sueño. Improvise una conversación, como la del diálogo. Veamos quién tenga encendida la cámara. 
Okay, Rafa, you choose the next person. Elija usted, please. Miss Gabby. Okay, Gabri, Gabriela. Gabriela, okay. what up? All right, sounds perfect. Gabriela, are you here? No te dejo conectado nada más. Gabi. Gabi. Teacher, yo no he escuchado nada. Te he tenido mala señal. Ni sé de qué están hablando ahorita. Estábamos diciendo que ya terminó la clase. Andy le <risa> No, hasta ahorita me voy conectando. Solo un ratito me había conectado. Ok. Teacher. But did you attend yesterday classes? Were you in in um, yesterday's class? It's the same about yesterday. You should blah blah blah. You should not blah blah blah. So it's the same, no? Vaya, vamos a la oportunidad de alguien más entonces. But please uh, listen. Teacher, it's my my group. Okay, Marlene, that's what I like. Okay, practice. Okay. Go ahead, please. I share the pantalla. Screen. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, this is my our conversation. Um, I can't believe it. Armando is drunk. It's prohibited, and this company should not come to drunk. Absolutely. This show not interrupt the meeting. Does. Is not polite. Um, Jose is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? He shall not chat in the meeting. Agree. We saw. We saw healthy. Kill him. Sure. It's time, and Luke should arrive early in this meeting, and he's not here. No, yet. Okay. Finish. All right. Okay. Ah, voy, a, voy a pensar que no vi allí nada. Okay. So, <laughs> right. I didn't see anything. I, think, I, I didn't. didn't uh -huh, I didn't even understand. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Marlene. Ahorita la voy a bloquear. Ahorita la voy a bloquear. Okay. Okay. Es el lado de Armando. All right. Okay. Double, double meaning. Double meaning, double sense. Okay. No, that's okay. It was good conversation, actually. Good conversation. Good. Good ideas. Except the name. Except the name. <laughs> okay, so what else? Alguien más quiere compartir? Vamos a empezar el tema nuevo. Bueno, quiero a ver si alguien más tiene preguntas. Anybody else? Who wants to share? No. No se quede con sus ideas. El amor son bien interesantes y eso no la quiere compartir. Don't keep your ideas. Maybe they are interesting and you don't want to share. So that's not good. Please go ahead and share. Okay. No problem. Then let's move on. Today, guys, we are going to learn how to write emails, okay? Do you guys send emails every day? Norma, do you send emails every day? Yes, teacher. Yes. Every yes. day. Every day, okay. Always. I understand, that's good. Rafa, do you send emails every day? Maybe personal emails or at work? Yes, every day. Every day, okay. So I think we we are all connected, right? In a way, the emails are a way of communication, right? So we might be sending emails due to work activities, or it might be a personal, you know, email that you want to send, or maybe a complaint or a request. So emails are, are you know, all over. Okay, so um, next question, Narciso, should emails be brief or long? What do you think? 
should emails be brief, like short, concise, or long? What's your opinion? Brief or long? Brief, teacher. Brief. Brief. Okay. Why? Why not long? It depends. Por regla, digo yo. By rule. Okay. okay. And can you mention three tips to write effective emails that you might think of, guys? Maybe uh, on your experience, how do you write emails? Can you send me your ideas on the chat, please? What do you include in your emails? What is a tip you can give us? Okay. What do you think? Send me your ideas on the chat, please. I want to read them based on your experience. Bien. bien, 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 por aquí. ¿Cuántas tenemos que checar ahí? ¿Por qué se va, teacher? ¿Por, por qué me saca, no. Marlene? ¿Por qué se no. va, teacher? Daniel, no Daniel, ¿por qué me bloqueó, Daniel? Ah, ya vi que se... Me están sacando. <ríe> ok, I apologize, guys. I think there was, you know, um, something went wrong with electricity and, you know, it, it, it went off. And then I didn't know what to do, but I'm back. Okay, so I apologize for that. Okay, so um, send me your ideas. What do you write on your email? How do you write your emails? Ustedes tienen mucha experiencia. ¿Cómo escriben sus emails? What do you include? Including what you don't include. Formal salutations, says Cristina. Readings are important. Yes, being polite. What else? What else? What other things do you include in your emails? I know it depends, right? But there are some very common things that we include in the emails. Xiomara, Anna, what did you include in your emails? JC, what do you include, Harrison? When you send an email, what do you include? Well, be brief. Yes, we have to be brief, right? Concise, to the point straight to the point, okay? All right. Sometimes Salvadoran, like Latin American people, we tend to go around, right? But we don't go like straight to the point. That's a problem we have. But American people, they go straight to the point, right? Most of the time. So what else? Let's take a look at this one. Let's take a look at these tips we have here, okay? Let's see. We have here. Okay, we have these, um, these are some of the um, tips. Okay, let's analyze one by one. Okay, let's analyze them. Let's see number one, JC, can you read number one, please? And tell me what you understand from the first one, this one. Tell me what you understand. Can you read it, JC? Um, oh, go ahead. Do not use all capitals. What do you understand? Um, no all capital for valga la redundancia por todo. Okay. Uh, why? Why is that? Because because um the 
formal work no is correct and is there and, any uh -huh. and and i am going to say in english and para escribirlo no es correcto so that is correct uh -huh. okay feel, uh, feel very heavy <laughs> heavy okay ray what happened if i send you an email at this moment in all capital letters what do you understand no oh, no uses todo el capital pero no entiendo right in mayúsculas. Yeah, exactly. When it says cap. Rafa, ¿qué más sabe, Rafa? Right. Right. When it says do not use all capitals. No use mayúsculas. Todas las mayúsculas. Okay, no todas las mayúsculas. No, no solo me, But why? Si yo les escribo en el chat all like um, capital letters, capital letters, they say that it's like as if you are shouting. Como que me está gritando. Si les mando, hola, hello guys, <laughs> todo capital letters. En el, este, is writing. Es como que les esté shouting, ¿verdad? Entonces, así que yo recuerdo una experiencia. Alguien no about this, no sabía de esto. Y pues por by mistake me quedó la, la, la tecla encendida de, de capital, capital letters en el teclado. Y yo estaba en ese momento, trabajaba en chat en, este, con clientes. Y la cliente hasta me escaló, me pidió supervisor en su momento, <ríe> me pedía supervisor porque yo le mandé un chat así, pero capiro, yo no me fijé que le mandé capiro, me dijo que había hecho un rey respetuoso, impolite, en bla, 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 I'm going to sue you, te voy a demandar, porque le mandé un texto en capiro. O sea, los gringos así son, porque como capiro es como que le estoy gritando, right? Y, es como, y yo nada que ver, so I'm sorry, it was just a mistake, ¿verdad? Entonces, capiro letters denotan este puede más ser puede ser mal interpretado okay como que le esté shouting una orden y cállense bla 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 verdad writing writing of course así que do not use all capital what is the opposite of capital letters cuál es lo opuesto a capital letters quién sabe who knows cómo decimos letras minúsculas Capitals, mayúsculas, en minúsculas. How do you say that? Alguien sabe? Capital letters, and then we have the no. opposite. Minúsculas, mm, yeah. lowercase. Exactamente, lowercase, más lowercase letters. Muy bien. Capital letters and lowercase letters, okay? Ok, good. Démoslo al chat para que lo vayan escribiendo ahí. Tenemos uh, capitals, capital letters, and then we have lowercase letters, lowercase letters. Ok, next one. It's very common. Vamos a leer el siguiente. I want you to tell me what you understand. Let's have, uh, let's see, um, Rubén. Read, please, the next and tell us what you understand. Try to speak English, Ruben, and tell us what you understand from this. Please. Okay. Uh, uh, number two. Or... It's number two. Okay. Avoid using the subject important. What do you understand? Avoid. Uh, uh, Evitar, evitar, usar, evit, using, important. Uh, no, 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 uh, no problem. Anybody who would like to help? Quiere ayudar? Help. What do you understand? Es muy importante. Cuando, where, where, you, where I, where, where we, 
send a email. We put the the destinatory in in a book uh, subject. Digamos, se me pone un asunto. Lo que no se debe hacer es ponerlo en ese subject, ponerlo importante, porque se supone que todos los correos son importantes. Me gustaría escuchar esa explicación, Daniel, en inglés, porque eso, 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 de eso se trata. Try to speak eh, Okay, when I say, when we say um, uh, uh, email, we put the scanner carry and subject. It's not correct. I, I use subject in the subject the, the the word important because all the emails are important in this in in in, the, in subject we we show use and um, I'll say. Ah, ya me quedé. <ríe> eh, debemos, sí, en el, en, el, en, el, en el correo debemos exponer lo, lo, de lo que se trata en Luis Context in the email, que, que es lo que contenemos en el correo. Okay. Voy a este, mencionar lo siguiente. Le felicito, Daniel, porque eso se trata, ¿verdad? Try to speak English, y si, y si usted de repente no sabe una palabra... Try to say it in a different way. Un sinónimo, explain it. Pero that's the challenge, okay? You did it really good. Um, en vez de, nada más sugiero que en vez de decir destinatario, diga, uh, se aparece como recipient. Recipient and recipient. sender. Okay. Recipient es el que recibe, el sender es el okay. que envía. Okay. Uh -huh. es, okay. Eso es como lo, lo más, lo más, este, uh -huh. como un recipient y luego sender. But everything went well. I understood everything you said. So that's good. That's good. Thank you so much. You. Uh -huh. So what happened? What happened is that most people, instead of being more specific, para poner algo más específico, important. No tiene que decir allí algo, como dijo Daniel, uh, specific, ¿verdad? The, the subject es el, es el, es el um, como el, el tema asunto. principal, el asunto. Exactly. That's what it mm -hmm. is. Good. Next one. Uh, number three. Let's listen to, let's see, Cristina. Read number three and tell us what you understand or if you have any example in how you do it. Use a formal salutation. Is when write the email. Uh, Mr. Daniel, Miss Rebecca, for example. When I start the email. Nice, that was good explanation. Short, but to the point. Good, thank you. What about okay. next one, uh, Gabby? What do you understand uh, by the next one? Gabby, Gabriela? Mm. Okay, no problem. Uh, Ruben, what do you understand by the next one? Uh, be brief. Uh, example, uh, hello, good morning. Uh, I need your help uh, in, in the report. To the point, right? Be brief. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. To the letter. <laughs> like... and, 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 and not say hello, how are you? And uh, fine uh, and nice to meet you to write. I I I I need your help. Uh, what do you think about these reports? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Uh... This is uh, very large. Right, very, very like long, exactly. 
Así somos nosotros, pe. como ese aspiral. We go around <risa> like this. Y un gringo, boom, solo. Eso es lo típico. Ok. So, um, next one. Let's see. Rafa, read next one, please. Rest clearly while you are writing. Okay. This is connected with the with the previous one. Clearly, right? Express clearly. Don't make it confusing, right? Clearly. This is what I want for next day at this time. Okay. Clearly. Okay. Next one, Narciso. What do you understand? Do not use abbreviation. 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 For example, what comes to what comes to your mind? Want to see the oh say uh, thank you. Aha, but I see thank you. I hold the bone in there. Thank you. Algo así o si no. ¿Qué más han visto usted? Oh, please. Esto es bien común. Please. ¿Qué más han visto ustedes? What else have you seen? Um, I want to send to I want to send to I want to send to the chat. Uh -huh. uh, I see in the in the in my company. Okay, good. Please, thank you. Y la última, do not use smileys. Do you use smileys? No. It's emojis. Mm -hmm. So, no sé, los emoticones. So, smileys. No, you... hey, me señor. No, le escuchamos, Daniel. Adelante. Go ahead. Algo. No. Yes, Daniel. Le escuchamos. Daniel. Daniel. Creo que Daniel iba a compartir algo, ya va, ya va a regresar. Have you guys, uh, saben, algunos, cuando, uh, about smileys o los uh, emojis, pues esos son smileys porque son um, los emoticones con caracteres de las. Uh, smiley is not professional, I think. Okay, maybe when you are chatting real time, yes, right, but on emails, maybe you want to avoid, right, mentioning all of them. Ok, um, so, voy a tomar las tendas ahorita y luego vamos a continuar. Guys, give me one second. Quiero ver qué pasó, quiénes se desconectaron. 16. Y Daniel se nos se va. Daniel, you there? No. He left. Ok, um, let's see. Number one, Ana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Number two, Narciso. Present teacher. Three, Claudia, for Cristina. Cristina? Okay, next one, Daniel. David, not here. Eric. Eric, no. Gabriela. Gabriela, Gabriela. Nope. Okay, Harrison. Present. Okay, thank you. Next one, Jesus. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruben. JC. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Julia. Next one, give me a second. I'm, okay. Let's see, Marlene. Present. Or Nicole. Marlene. Either, cualquiera de los dos, ok. Um, Omar, no. Carolina, no. Present. Ok, Carolina, Carolina, ok. Rafa, en its corner. I'm here, teacher, in my corner. In your corner, ok. Rey. Present, teacher. Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. Adrián, Georgina, Jairo, and Jose didn't make it. Daniel, can you listen to me? Daniel, no? Creo que iba a escribir algo, Daniel, ahí que es Alcón. 
I don't know what he means. Okay, um, so let's keep talking. El propósito que en esta clase tenemos. I have problems. Yeah, I, I can see internet. Daniel. No problem, Daniel. No problem, okay? I know you're there. So let's do something. The purpose of today's class is to write an email. Tenemos que escribir un correo, okay? Tenemos un tiempo. I know we can do it. Así que let's keep talking about emails, okay? We have this conversation here. So do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, so let me read it once again and then we're going to practice, okay? Uh, Amanda and Luis, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. Vamos a escuchar dos veces, dos, dos, dos pairs. Vamos a escuchar primero a Cristina con Rubén y luego a Gabriela con, um, con Jesús. Okay. Vamos, please. Okay. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it, it is appropriate to use a brief version in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. 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 sure, 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 sure. Okay, let's do something, Ruben. And uh, I think it was Cristina. Switch, switch, please. Switch roles. Or oh, Ruben is Amanda. Okay. Go. Okay, okay. Uh, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate. Appropriate. Do you use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes, yeah, sure. All right, thank you so much. Only this this word right here, Ruben. Appropriate. Appropriate. Is it appropriate? Is it appropriate? Appropi appropriate. Appropriate. Is it appropriate? Yes. Is it appropriate? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Appropriate. Appropriate. Abbreviation. Abbreviation. Esa última es Shen. Shen. Abbreviations. Abbreviations. Okay. Okay. So now we we'll listen to, I think it was Gabriela, creo que dije, and Jesus, right? Okay. Go. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to, to use a revision in business email. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to, to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Good. Abbreviation. Abbreviate. Yeah, abbreviate. Yeah. Abbreviation, abbreviations, okay? Let's switch roles, let's switch roles, okay? Okay. Three, two, do one, you, go. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. 
información. Claro, por supuesto. Ok, yeah, sure. Now, uh, let's change the information we have here, ok? So, we're not going to say um, abbreviations no more. We're going to use any of these from these tips. For example, uh, do you often send email? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to what? Avoid using the subject important in business email. So now we're going to practice, but we're going to change the tip, okay? So practice in pairs, try to use all of them, okay? And maybe you will need to change the conversation and how it goes, okay? Um, so let's try, let's try. Let, let me do it with Anna Elizabeth. Anna Elizabeth, let's, let's improvise, please, let's improvise. Um, do you often send emails, Anna Elizabeth? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use a smileys in, his, in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, sure. So simple as that, right? So we're gonna just change the tip in the part where, it, where we have it, okay? So I want to hear maybe one more to change, you know, the tip and use the same structure. Um, Harrison, would you like to try with Linda, please? As we did okay. with, uh -huh, go ahead. Do you often send me emails? Yes, I do. Is a profession to use uh, emoji and uh, abbreviations on the in the reaction in the right em emojis? No, is not professional and is confused. I see. Could you share more of this to write effective emails? And... Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Okay, yeah. Sure. Nice. Uh, appropriate, appropriate. Is it appropriate? Appropriate, appropriate. Is it appropriate? Uh, yeah. Is appropriate. Y luego decimos el tip, ¿verdad? Escuchamos a uno más. Vamos a escuchar a Narciso con Marlene. Go, please. Okay. Um, Narciso, do you often send emails? Hello? Narciso, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> it is appropriate to use uh, all capital letters, business email. No, no, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Okay, nice. nice. I think this is very easy for you, right? I like it. I like it. So let's, let's uh, go over the steps to write a formal email, okay? Let's read it and then we can discuss it, okay? We have here some steps to write effective email and tips. Number one, me van a ayudar a leer. Yes, me van a ayudar a leer. Así que number one, comencemos con Rubén. Read it, please. Number one. Okay. Uh, filling the subject line with the topic relevant to your recipient and not your document or important, important. Exactly, okay. Fill in the subject, el, el asunto como decía Daniel, with a topic relevant to your recipient. El que lo va a recibir sea relevant. No simplemente le ponga el document o importa, ¿verdad? It has to be a topic, a topic that transmits the idea, a topic that conveys the intention, right? A topic that is, you know, uh, very concise or it has the essential of what you want to say, okay? Uh, number two, let's see, 
Harrison, read number two, please. Number two. I'm through the police salute, salutation. In club, uh, polite salutation. Uh, for example, dear Mr., dear Mrs., good morning, etc. Okay, I think it's clear, right? I like when you say, for example, porque eso sí significa, for example. Good. Um, for example, actually, it's example given, pero es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Exam okay, so um, good. We have then that we have to include a polite salutation. Ya, eso nos leyó, dear Mr., dear Miss, good morning, etc., etc. A polite salutation. Si saben el title de la persona, puede ser engineer, puede ser doctor, puede ser depende, ¿verdad? That's very formal. Okay, next one, number three. Narciso, number three, please. Graduate may point in the opening sentence. Okay, in the opening sentence, al, al inicio, ¿verdad? What's the point of this email? Write it all at once. Okay, concise, brief. Uh, Ray, number four, please. Number four. Do you hear me? Yes. Don't use our capi capital or a lower case letter. Exactly. Don't use all capital, no todas mayúsculas, ni tampoco todas minúsculas, okay? Don't use all capitals or all lowercase letters, right? You have to mix them up, right? You start the sentence, capital letter. Like uh, proper nouns, capital letters, and then lowercase, okay? So we have to have this. This is grammar, actually, grammar, you know, punctuation and grammar and everything, you know, what's it's necessary. Let's continue. Let's see, Marlene, next one. A boy abbreviation example, PLZ, yes, please. Okay, right, avoid abbreviate, 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 abbreviate. abbreviation, abbreviation, abbreviation. Okay, next one, Daniel, number six, please. Number six, okay, be polite. Remember to write, please, and thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, 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 I say something about the, the number six. Okay. Uh, you see, you see the, the shop? I gonna, I say the, the word alcohol. What is it? Yeah, I saw it. What is it? Alcon is in a military, uh, in a military speaking, uh -huh. all concerning, all concerning. Ah, I didn't. Yes, it is. I, I, no, bueno, lo que estoy aprendiendo ahora es que no veo, que no debería de ser, ¿verdad? pero como, right. como es, 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 or from, from USA? So right. I'm, from, uh, I'm concerned, okay. I'm concerning. It's, it's, it's new to me. <laughs> I didn't know that, to be honest with you. I think I had never seen it, but it makes sense in an email mm -hmm. because you can say all concerning, right? All yes. concerning, yes. Right, you can yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So okay. thank you. I didn't know. I saw it and I didn't understand. So thanks so much for clarifying. See, uh, we, 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 I, Cuando quería explicarlo se me fue el internet. <laughs> when I wanted to, when I wanted to explain it, the internet and went off. Internet, 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 yes. The internet, Thank boom, you. went off. Okay, or oh, disconnected. Good, let's continue. Number seven. Let's see, Ana Elizabeth, number seven. If, if, if your message is too long, consider using an atten attainment. Attachment. 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 What is an attachment? What's an attachment? Adjunto. Exactly. Exactly. All right. That's good. No un documento adjunto, right? You adjunto. write it and then you boom the evidence or maybe the message. If it's too long, attach it. Okay. But do not write in the body of the email. Boom. You want to specify no. 
If it is like maybe a request, you attach it, right? The file, you attach the file, the document. Okay, good. Number eight, let's see, number eight, Jesus, number eight. Use a closing no. phrase like best regards looking forward to your comments. It is etc. etc. Yes, okay, best mm -hmm. regards, one regards, okay, best wishes, etc. etc. Okay, good. Um, next one, number nine, Linda. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business, address, and phone number. Okay, good. Some companies um, have this option already, like by default, por defecto, right? And they have like the signature block says um, Linda and last name, right? And then it says, um sales manager and then it says address and phone number yes that is by default marlene and nicole rivera and then uh, manager of this company right and then uh, it's, it's by default contact right if you have it but it's a good idea it's a good idea to create and number 10, edit and proofread before you send the message. Esto es tan importante. Edit and proofread. Proofread means you read it, right? Read it once again. De repente, por decir una palabra, le dijeron otra y ya, ya lo mandamos, ¿verdad? Aquí no hay WhatsApp que le dan delete. Si ya, aquí ya se mandó, se mandó. So it's important to proofread, ¿verdad? So you, before you send it, double check, okay? Check, check it again. A mí me gusta, me encanta eh, usar una aplicación que se llama, es Grammarly. Grammarly is so nice. I recommend it. No es publicidad, pero I recommend it. Grammarly, se me acuerdo. Grammar, Grammar, mm. Grammarly. Right. Grammarly, it's a really okay. good one for writing emails because it gives you the corrections and it's free. Oh, I know you, you can pay for an account, but then you don't need to pay. I think it's the basic is, is, is enough. So it gives you the correction and suggestions. So, so it's really good. So maybe you want to check it. All right. So having said that, we have 10 tips. And now it's time for us to check and write an email. But then before we do that, uh, I want you to help me to check this. Okay, we got this two emails, okay, veamos el formato, ¿cómo lo clasificaríamos? How would you classify this, formal or informal? Miren, send to peter at gmail.com, then we have uh, okay. the CC, which is, you know, uh, so like an extra person that you can add, copy to another one, and then um, subject, Saturday, and then Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things. See you. Hmm. Formal or informal? Based informal. on the... Formal. Formal. Informal. Oh, informal, okay. And what about the next one? Help us read, please. JC, leanos el, el siguiente, díganos your opinion, formal or informal. Read. Or remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with it. Don't forget the document is formal. A little bit formal, right? With, with IT, okay. Yes, I agree with that. Um, yes, Robert, remember those more yes, with IT. Don't forget the document. Something is missing, of course, right? If we think about the tips, the 10 tips, there's a lot of things missing, right? Maybe, um, you know, a phrase to close, of a closing phrase, and some other details, but then it's a little bit formal. Okay, now is your turn, es su turno. Okay, I want you to think about an email, and se lo van a mandar a quien? A, a un coworker, a un compañero, okay? Um, and que le van a incluir? Confirm that you need to meet with him or her tomorrow. Okay, esa es la... la 
el mensaje. Okay. That you need to meet with him tomorrow. Okay. So you can be more specific. Okay. So let's do something. I'm going to give you five minutes para que empecemos a escribirlo. Creo que van a necesitar un poquito más. Okay. Pensemos en el, en el formato que tenemos aquí y redactémoslo. Okay. Go ahead, guys. Let's start working. Tiempo pasa un poco rápido. So let's, let's do it. Please work on that. Si tienen questions, aquí, aquí va a estar. Recordemos que podemos hacerlo de una manera personalizada. Ahí es lo que ustedes ven en los tips. Son unas frases, por ejemplo, uh, best regards, regards, looking forward to, to your comment. Solo son ideas, pero se pueden buscar las suyas, las que 
hay un, un, un sinfín, hay bastantes frases bonitas que son recomendadas en los correos, así como para opening o para closing también. So we can, you know, take some time and look for some others. It's okay. Mm. Si lo está haciendo, if you're doing your email in the in your notebook, you can show it. But if you are typing it, you can share the screen so we can see it, okay? Si lo hace en el cuaderno, show it. If you do it on the, on the computer, share the screen so we can all see it. Como le quedó, okay? Ya vamos a comenzar unos dos minutos más o three, min three more minutes.
Tenemos el primer email ya en el chat. Ok, that was good. María Julia. Ok, ya no lo va a leer María Julia. Quedan unos minutitos. Si lo hace en su cuaderno, if you do it in your notebook, y le puede tomar una foto y lo manda al chat de WhatsApp, sería también una opción, guys. Ok, let's say two more minutes. Hemos recibido uno más de Elizabeth. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. Can you guys listen to me? Hello? Hello. Okay, uh, it's raining a lot in my town, guys. I do apologize for this, but I think everybody has finished, right? So we are going to share our emails in small groups, okay? So I'm going to assign maybe uh, three to four four members and then you start taking turns and reading your emails to your peers okay so only read only read your emails because i know you finished so now it's time to share it but you know this time you, you will have to do it verbally okay 
Here we go. Jesus, hello, Jesus. Can you listen to me? Hello, hello, hello. No, 